Hello boys and girls, Sim Junkie here. Check out this race, racing at Silverstone. Uh, running the um, Mazda MX-5. I'm in the green car. Go, 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 go. Pushy, pushy. Anyway, <laughs> Silverstone, warm up five minutes, race 25 minutes, 3.61 miles and 10 turns. Uh, it's actually a pretty fun race. But at the same time, it was also a little boring towards the end because uh, these cars are so slow. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I enjoyed it. I have not raced the uh, MX-5 series in quite a while. And oh, uh, he almost bumped me. Uh, but I've been trying to get up my score so I can get into the GT3 class. Uh, playing all these different games lately I haven't been concentrating on ranking myself up here so so I did a couple races here placed fairly decent wouldn't say great but decent and uh, uh anyway I got bumped up to the GT class finally so uh, but yeah ooh, let me get the drive on this guy now that guy people were cussing him earlier later in the match but uh, he was kind of reckless out there but I won't go into that. You can just watch it. But, uh, yeah, so. Man, I tell you what, these Mazdas. Whoa, there's a. Wrecks all over the place right there. Spin outs and everything else. These Mazdas are actually pretty fun to drive. And, uh, you know, I kind of think of them as. Uh, going back to racing motorcycles and stuff, is that. Uh, riding them on the track, rather. Man, see, he had a better drive up on me. Look at that coming around. Up, oh, I held it off. Held him off. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go to the chase cam here. Chase. Let's see what's up. Yeah, a little bit better. Better view of what's going on here. But uh, anyway, yeah, I kind of consider these cars, they remind me of like a 600cc motorcycle. And then you got a, you know, a leader bike, 1000cc, or motorcycle racing on the track. And these are more like 600. They're all about corner speed and keeping up the corner speed. Uh, so you're going to go kind of go a little hot into the corners. Because you don't have a whole lot of power to drive out of them. So you, you really got to learn. That guy almost tapped me. <laughs> really got to learn your optimal line with these. These, are, these cars will actually make you a better racer. Uh, if you stick with these long enough to learn your corner speed, how much corner speed you can carry. Of course, you know, it's with this particular car. Once you go to another car, the corner speed will probably be totally different. But it does allow you to realize how fast you can go into corners uh, so you tend to not break so early going into them or you pick an optimal line getting through them apex the curve and get down on the power a lot faster now these cars they don't really spin up at all so you can nail them uh, for your even apex and then you'll just push like crazy uh, out so a little bit more understeer uh, but, you know, a little uh, fiddling with the setup, too, will take out some of the oversteer. I'm sorry, understeer. It's not a whole lot of oversteer in these. But, yeah. Check it out. Let's watch this race a little bit and see what's going on. This guy's coming back at me now. He will come after you. See, he slowed me up right there. See, I was faster through that section than that. He slowed me up, another guy slowed me up, so we're duking it out. But it was pretty fun race at times, you know, duking it out with some of these guys. Oh, someone went wide, and there's a crash. Yeah, 
this one was a hard curve to approach. I really hit the wrong line right there. And this guy, we almost smacked. Uh, well, at least felt a lot closer at the time. And I'm doing a pre, you know, after recording, obviously, on this one, uh, replay on it. So, because frankly, I drive better when I'm not talking. <laughs> Plus, this is live, and I don't want to necessarily get any chatter across the board of other, other drivers maybe hollering at each other or something. Starting to catch up, but went too wide there. I should have squared off that corner a lot sooner. I lost some time there. Luckily, the yellow car there is holding up the white car. Uh, they're battling it out and uh, allowing me to kind of catch up a little bit. Like I said, these cars are hard to build speed on. I mean, they, uh, they're slow as heck. See, there we go. Coming in on them. Someone crashed behind me. So you got to carry your corner speed on these things. Get it, get it, get it. Turn in, puppy. That car hop when you shift. Burp. Man, a lot of understeer on this thing. That last corner there was a booger for me. Cost me a position. Maybe. Let's see. see what that was. Back that one up. Ah. A little havoc going on there. Ah, he got in on us. See, that's all it takes, folks. Overshot that corner just a little bit. One guy was breaking a little bit too much when he could have been on the throttle. Kablam! You hit each other. Hey, that took some pressure off of me, but these guys have gotten further away from me. There you all are. See, when you come out of that corner so hot, you mean you're using the whole track up and then you got to break and get straightened out again be on the outside of there and then of course get a good drive out of here so just a hard set of or not hard it's just a little difficult set of corners to get the right line especially when you're sitting here driving a car that doesn't have any power Meaning, since it doesn't have a whole lot of power, uh, you can't make up for your mistakes by powering through it. Once you apex your curve. And it's like a 1,000cc motorcycle. 1,000cc motorcycle doesn't corner as well, unless you're someone like uh, Matt Maladin or someone like that. But, uh... Ben Spees, Nicky Hayden, you know, all the greats. Uh, but they have a whole lot of drive on the straightaway, so you can kind of 
Take it a little bit easier in the corners and concentrate on your exit. Anything can happen in a race, folks. Anything. Cars are rolling. That must have had a mistake. No, actually, I think it just came out of the pits. I was a little bit closer in. I should have been further into the right there on that curve. That way I could have got on the throttle a little quicker. on the turn in on that car because it just did not want to turn. That's where I should have been right there. Get across that line. That guy's spinning out. Mr. Yellow Car. says I race is easy is wrong. But it is a lot of fun. gap we got there. Uh, we're getting a pretty good gap on the guy behind us. <laughs> First guy in front of us got a pretty good gap too. About another second or so ahead. Shows number 16 on my car. I guess that's what order I was in out there, I guess. Actually, number 19. But whatever. So you got to a little bit closer inside line there, but lost some time still. That guy had a good exit in the white car.
that's allowed him to get a heck of a drive down that straight. So yeah, it's a good example of uh, taking the right line and the wrong line. Especially when you're dealing with these slower cars. That's better. And if anybody wondered, I'm running uh, hardware I'm using is a Fanatec Club Sport version 1. It's my BMW rim. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down, partner. And then um, DSD button boxes, a Club Sport uh, shifter. Actually, just using sequential mode on that one. Well, that guy went wide. So did I. There's the circus. We just both screwed up on that one. The pressure got to me. Just trying to find some time anywhere. Then I found that I lost time. Whoa. There we go. Almost hit that guy. And that's how the yellow car got in the lead again. Or at least ahead of me. They went wide. I got you. That's why you like to stay close to guys, so if they make a mistake, you can capitalize on it. I hear him breathing down my neck. That was a lot better corner. Took that one a lot better. Sometimes you gotta go a little bit slow in RM so you can get a little bit better drive out of them. Slow is fast, they say. I feel like I need another gear in between that, between those uh, second and third there. <laughs> A little bit taller ratio. It's a beautiful day though, slightly cloudy. Silverstone track.
good day to go racing. Shot there. That's what I'm talking about. It's a fun race, but it does become boring after a while because you're just kind of racing alone sometimes. See, those guys are way back there. So let's just speed this one up a little bit. And there he goes. Dun -dun 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 Sound effects in effect. For all this is a 25 minute race, so I want to YouTube the whole 25 minutes. I could clip it and all that, but you know, this is kind of insert music here, you know. Some funny tune. Yellow guys catching up. Look how fast we're going. It's like on a uh, little remote control cars. Whoa. All right. Let's go slow again. Everybody's mining up now. Hmm. There he goes. Hits that guy. Yeah, I got a dude freaking disappeared. Where'd he go? That's where they're talking about that guy was a little reckless bumping into people. So I went off the track. Which, when you're racing, um, I racing, it's kind of a big deal because your your I ratings judged by how well you place and how good of a technical driver you are. Basically, how you place better I rating you get and then your safety rating is you know it's taxed pretty hard it's a no-fault system so no matter if someone bumps you or not your safety rating goes down so there's a lot of people it seems like they'll just go ahead and exit the race but uh, it's still gonna go down from it I was a little concerned that this guy's probably gonna bump me from behind as hard as he was charging some of them, but you know, it's uh Rubin's racing, you know, that shit happens. Get over it. Haha, <laughs> until it happens to me. Which it has actually, quite a few times. There we go. This is the last lap, by the way. Overshot that curve. Kind of thinking he's closer than he was. And, uh, it wasn't actually that close. I could have just, uh, held in there and finished the race ahead of him. I think I placed fifth on this one. No, I'm sorry. I placed 11th. I didn't place that good. Yeah, that's 11th. I wasn't in the 10th place, so. Heard that top, you're in the top 10 and got excited. I'm like, oh crap. Uh, nothing I can do to catch him now. But anyway, that's the, that's the race. I hope y'all guys and gals enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Comment, hit me up, say something. Subscribe to me for more, and we will check you later. Bye.